one's just going to run you through the bench work I did today. Um, was doing 265 for two reps, five sets, and I bumped it down to my uh, standard T2 work I've been doing, which is 235 for this training cycle. Uh, these two rep sets with 265, this is 90% of my goal weight. And uh, my goal weight for this training cycle is 295. That's what I figure I could hit for two reps any day of the week, rain or shine. And uh, I think the most I've done 295 for was two reps. I've done 300 for two. Um, but I would really like to get 295 for something like three, four, maybe five reps. And uh, we'll see how that goes next week when I do get to 295 for an AMRAP set. But um, these 265 for two rep sets right here that you're seeing these all felt really strong the intensity is a little bit um, lower than some of the other stuff that I was doing earlier in the cycle uh, I'll be hitting a, a all-time one rep max on my slingshot this Saturday and I'll try to get that for at least one it's gonna be 340 uh, this right here is my last um, T1 set which is 265 for two still and um, these I'm really just trying to pause for a really long time and accelerate as hard as I can off my chest and just keep pushing uh, until I lock it out. Going through the commands in my head, I'm trying to count to about 10 or so in my head and um, that went a little bit slower but at the same time, I mean that was a really, really, really long pause. Uh, certainly the longest I've ever paused that amount of weight on my chest um, for that many repetitions. So feeling really strong off my chest, feeling really strong at the bench, I've got um, no concerns about next week's 295 AMRAP set. I know I'll at least be able to get uh, two to three reps on that. Two would tie a PR. Um, that would be disappointing. Three would set a new PR. Um, and uh, I would love to get four or five. That'd be awesome. So here are my uh, T2 weights, which is 235 for this training cycle. As I've been talking about uh, all these videos ever since I've been doing this training cycle since I got out here to Afghanistan. I really just want to get 235 for a solid um, three sets of 10 reps after T1 weights. So next week is when I'll be going for that. Here's uh, six sets of four reps and I'm pausing on these last reps. Um, I really typically don't pause anything above three reps um, when I'm talking each set or each rep rather. Rather I just uh, pause on the last one. So. That way it keeps me strong off my chest without really bringing down my, my working intensities. Because if you're going to pause every single set on, like say you're doing reps of four, five, six, or more, all those sets, you're, you're going to have to knock your intensities way down. And um, sure, you'll get stronger, but um, not at the same rate that I would like to get stronger. Um, so these right here are certainly moving really fast. I'm very excited for my two, two weights. Um, getting really strong off my chest and uh, the lockouts getting strong of course I'm using my slingshot I love that thing you guys know that um, and that's getting me confident under a super maximal load and uh, it's getting my lockout stronger as well so that's great I'm gonna keep using it hopefully this Saturday I crush a, a 340 um, at least for one rep so after I did those T2 weights I did six sets of five reps with a 95 pound overhead press supersetted that real quick with some chest supported rows um, tapering down my intensities or excuse my my volumes and uh, bringing up my intensities standard typical format that's been around for ages and um, everything should come together next week and get some new rep PRs thanks for watching